Okay, so I really hope this works. Let me know if you can hear me because it's been really weird lately. Hey, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Ah, yay! Okay, good. I'm so glad this is working. I, uh, I don't know why, but like, I was using Google Chrome the last couple times I tried to stream, and all the settings were like fine, but nobody could hear me. So yeah, I downloaded Firefox, and it looks like it's working. Hey, everybody. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just jump on because I'm actually like super bored. I'm trying to finish filming my uh, Valentine's Day video. This is my third attempt at pairing the Afonopalma Calcodes. And neither one of them have moved in like 30 minutes. Like, I don't know how much you can see, but the male is just like inside, half inside her hut. And then she... Honey. Oh. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd just jump on because That's I'm actually echo. like super bored. I'm trying to... Sorry about that. Um, what is wrong with this? Okay, but yeah, I don't know why neither one of them is moving. Hopefully this works though. Anyway, what is up everybody? How is your Wednesday? Hello from Belgium. What's up? And Korea. <laughs> Do you have any whip spiders? Yeah, I have um, the tailless whip scorpions. Paul, so yeah, the male is drumming, or he, he was. He's not now, but he did, and then he went over there, and now he's just sitting there. So uh, I feel like it's going to be a minute. <laughs> um, it is not late. It's 9.20 a.m. here, so it's actually pretty early. I wanted to try pairing them again last night, but I fed them both a like huge cricket yesterday morning and they were still eating it last night so I couldn't try um Christian I'm trying to pair my Afonopilma Calcodes or the Arizona blonde hello from Italy hello from Costa Rica hey guys hi Tarantula Shani hi T thanks hey spider sub and Georgia cool cool Finland wow that's pretty tight. You guys are from all over Canada. Two of you from Canada. It snowed in Canada. Yeah, it's been like crazy weather here. Like it, one day it's icing and then the next day it's like 60 or 70 degrees. So I don't know what's going on here. But yeah, look at this. Still nothing. This has been going on for like probably more than 30 minutes. Maybe closer to an hour at this point. So I don't know if this is going to work. Um, I don't know. Look, I even put like flower petals in here to try to set the mood. Like, do you see that? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Some breeders give the female a meal before pairing. So she is preoccupied and does not jump. She just ate like a huge meal though. Like it was like some fat crickets. <laughs> And I fed her like super worms too, like all last week. I've fed her so much just to try to keep her from eating him. Going to my first Repticon soon, do they only take cash at those places or will cards work? Um, in my experience, I've never been to Repticon, but I go to a couple, you know, local expos and they, some of them take cards, but they charge you like, it's weird. It, it's cheaper if you bring cash. I would bring cash. Um... They might need some music to help with the mood. Yeah, I was thinking that, but I don't want to get any copyright strikes. So <laughs> just push them in there. I don't think that's a good idea because the first time I tried to pair her, like you guys will see in the video, but the first time I tried to pair them, it was like, she was mean. Like, I'm surprised he didn't get eaten. I actually had to take him out because she was like threat posing him and she kept like smacking him away and he just kept like trying. Like he was really determined the first time, but she was not having it. I put them in a large box with their separate lids open and leave them for a couple of days. Um, actually, I was thinking about doing that. My computer's on it now, but I have a really big bin and I was thinking about actually trying that method because I don't know what else to do. Um, 
Hoping the best in your pairing. Thanks. I really would be happy if I got some babies out of the deal, but like, I don't know. This is my first time trying to pair tarantulas. So if I don't get babies, I'm not going to be like devastated. It's just like experience, you know? I went and checked out the tie-dyed iguana this past weekend. It is an awesome store and I got a new enclosure for one of my tarantulas. That's awesome. I love that store. Like, they're kind of far from me, so I can't really go there a lot. I've only been there a handful of times, but it is just so nice. <laughs> Let me scroll up and see. Um, middle of, oh, Czech Republic. That's awesome. I'm actually, um, I have some Czech in my family, so I'm actually in an American Czech club. Hey, Mike, what's up? Mike, are you a mod? Because I can't remember. Like, I didn't tell anybody I was going live, so I don't even know if I have any mods, but nobody really ever does anything too bad anyway, so. Uh, my two wolf spiders made egg sacs, and they leave them dry. I have a male. Should be pairing them. Oh my gosh, my wolf spider died. Like, I caught it in spring. Sorry if it's loud outside. I caught it in spring, and it was, like, still kind of a baby, and I don't know what happened, but it died. Um, but I do actually, it's funny, under my TV stand, I know there's um, a wolf spider that like lives under there and I've been thinking about like, should I dig it out or just leave it be? I might catch it if it comes out. Is there any special conditions for a Calcodes to pair them? Um, not that I know of, like pretty much everybody I've talked to said just like put them together um, and hope that it works out. But so far, what I've tried to do is feed them a lot, and um, I thought maybe the first time the female didn't want to pair because she had been inside her um, hide for, like, literally months, and I hadn't seen her. Um, but lately, she's been coming out and walking around, so I feel like she's starting to, like, I don't know, maybe she was just tucked away for the winter, and that's why she didn't want any action, but yeah. Hey, Lucy. Yeah, still nothing. I told you guys, this has just been going on. Like, it, it has to have been, like, an hour by now and still nothing. So, I don't know. I'm probably just going to have to, like, leave them to hopefully pair. I don't know. Oh, stuff, stuff happened. She just smacked him away, and he backed up a little bit. Oh, no, he is, he's exiting the hut. <laughs> That is not a good sign. Hang on. So she's not threat posing him or anything. And he's drumming. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. He is drumming. Like right now uh again he he hadn't moved for like quite a while and she is turning around so maybe she'll come out i think he is nervous too lucy because the first time like she was like mean like i thought he was gonna get eaten for sure because he would not stop he would not leave her alone <laughs> You can see him drumming a little bit. Yee, maybe it's going to work this time. If it does work, we know it's the flower petals I put in there. Hey, Ned, thank you. Um, I do have a very small LP that was gifted to me like last year, and I don't think it's grown at all. My house is full of spiders, at least three species. Unfortunately, one of those species is a brown recluse. Same. Same, girl, because I legit have found two dead recluse in our house. Oh, hey, uh, Exotic Slayer. Actually, no, I literally just got this tripod. Um, I, this is my first time using it. Before, I was using a selfie stick, um, but my phone is – it's the – bigger iPhone and it kept popping out because the it was too uh, big for it so 
LP do grow fast once they get to like a certain size, but when they're slings, they do grow pretty slow. He's drumming. Oh, yay. Things are finally happening. Yay. It's hard to film and go live and breed all at the same time, but that's what we're doing today. <laughs> hey, Max. Hey, Richard. Oh, my God. Everyone's saying hi to Exotics. Bruh, that guy. Oh, my gosh. Do not be mean to Exotics. He is literally one of my bestest friends. Please don't be mean to him. Hi from Argentina. Hey. You got me into tarantula exotics. Yay, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, yes. I think something's happening. Okay, yeah, he's drumming a lot. And she, like, is like this. Like, I don't know if she's threat posing him or if she's, like, saying, like, come here. I was going to say, come here, daddy. <laughs> it's getting spicy up in here, though. Like, let me tell you. Oh, she smacked him away again. Why is she like this? If she doesn't get him this time, then I don't think they're going to pair because this is like the third time. <laughs> hey, Greg. <clears throat> Male tarantulas can never be daddy material. LOL. It's true. <laughs> I'm feeding my Arizona blonde right now. She just ran after the cricket almost out of the front of the enclosure. <laughs> yeah, I hate when they do that. Hey, girly, new sub here. I love your vids. I'm terrified of tarantulas. Well, basically any spider, LOL, but your vids have helped me understand them. Yay, that makes me so happy. I love when people say that. <laughs> Oh, man, why does she keep doing that? She smacked him away again. I'm going to give him another 30 minutes, I think. I don't I don't think it'd be a good idea to cohab him with her because she's really not acting receptive. Pecco. Just... Sorry. Um, need to cheer for the dude. I've been cheering for him. Like, he's gotten all of my support. <laughs> he's really trying. Oh my gosh. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let me scroll up a little bit. Constantly handling them? No. Maybe she's into BDO. Wow. Maybe. Um, Ronald, they are a phonopoma calcodes. How do you get it? Oh my gosh. This, you guys, I'm sorry that it keeps giving notifications, but Peko and Exotic Slayer won't shut up. So I'm going to exit Facebook. Especially not after what happened with those two tigers. Da, da, da. Set the mood. Okay, I have tried to set the mood. I have flower petals in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I exited Facebook because you guys won't. Shh. OK. 
cat Loki hates me and Petco. No, you guys are bullies. <laughs> not really, not really. Okay. She's still smacking him away. Hmm. If anybody in here has, um, if anybody in here has bred, uh, tarantulas before, how often or how long do you let them smack each other away? Because I've heard conflicting things. Some people have told me that they can smack them away a hundred times and then they'll still pair fine. <laughs> he should have brought her chocolate. I know that probably would have helped. Hi, Kat. Love your videos, even though I have a fear of spiders. Thank you. This is the only spider tattoo I have right now. I am hoping to get one, though, uh, very soon. A new one. Sorry, I'm just trying to get some good footage for the video tomorrow. Um, but I think, ooh, I think this might actually work out if we wait long enough. Maybe this motivates him. Thank you so much for the super chat. And I hope so. I very much would like it if that did. It's really not him that's the problem today, though. It's her. She was the problem both times. Three, all three times, actually. She, it was her fault that they didn't pair. She's still smacking him away. <clears throat> oh, is somebody hating on my West Coast invertebrates? So you just let them as long as they will keep trying? Like, I'm not really that concerned that it, he's going to get eaten because I feel like she would have done it by now. West Coast invertebrates, are you hating on my iPhone? It does 4K. It actually does better video than my DSLR. My, but my DSLR is from 2000, um, I want to say 2011 or 12. <laughs> Exotic Slayer's laughing. You know, he uses his iPhone too for all his videos. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I feel like she would have eaten him by now because he's been like persistent like this in the past. And she hasn't. But if she does eat him, I won't be like, like, I'll be sad. But he is an old mature male. He's been mature for quite a while. So I feel like he doesn't have the longest life ahead of him. Um, obviously, I don't want him to get eaten. But like, it happens, you know. I thought you froze for a minute. Sorry. Don't feed the trolls. Oh, is somebody trolling? It's okay. Exotic, stop bullying. He can bully me. It's okay. <laughs> it's so weird. You breeders watch spiders have mm, all the time. Yeah. I This is my first time trying to pair, though. Oh, I hope she comes out. Eek, I don't know, but I think she might be threat posing him. Or she's lifting up so that he can insert. I don't really know. Ooh, he's feeling her fangs. Oh my gosh. He literally just put one of his foot, one of his little feet on her tooth, like... This footage is going to be actually pretty good tomorrow.
I don't know. Cat, love your channel. Also, your Insta. Keep your vids and pics coming. Thank you. Yeah, yesterday I took such a really cute picture of my Asian forest scorpion. I don't know if you guys saw that. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably did. <laughs> Exotics, Peko, and Cat Video Chat. Got the perfect name. Two faces and a hand. Two faces, one hand. Um, how long will the live stream continue? I'm just asking, plus what's your Insta name? So my Instagram is at tarantula.cat and I'll probably live stream another 20 minutes. Um, I got a little bit of time today because I got on a little bit earlier than I usually do. I'm thinking about Metallica. So you guys are going to be so happy when you see what I'm picking up from the expo on Sunday. Are slings hard to keep? It depends what kind of sling. They're a little bit more fragile, but like, I mean, if you want to go for it, you totally should. Another pokey? Maybe. <laughs> She's threat posing him. I'm pretty sure. But he's still going for it. So I'm just going to let the little dude uh, make that decision. My Asian forest scorpion is strange. It will only eat dead food. It's about five inches. Um, Mine only likes crickets. I don't really see mine take super worms and stuff. So maybe try changing the feeder. Should I get a P Metallica sling and how to keep it? You could totally get one. Um, just keep in mind they're like a little bit more, like they're one of the most venomous tarantulas, but um, like as long as you're careful, you should be fine. AKA friend zoning him. What did I miss here? <laughs> My school had a tarantula that got away. They found it a few days later, still alive in the women's bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that happens. Um, why are we angry? Ever have a tiny sling disappear into their enclosure? Just got a few and they're definitely in there, but they're so small and the same color as the substrate. Can't find them. Oh yeah. Don't even worry. They're in there somewhere. Ever had a tiny sling? Di oh, I just read that one. Sorry. Let me scroll up a little bit. I want to know if you have a G ultra. Is there a native from my country? Where are you from? Because... I think they're from Brazil. So are you from Brazil? Um, I would rather a bigger one. Yeah, getting a big tarantula is more exciting than getting a sling, but it is fun to watch slings grow. So do keep that in mind. I once had a copperhead escape. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Oh, threat posing is like friend zoning. Yeah, it is. He's still drumming though. But her teeth are like, like she's like, ah. She like puts her teeth up and he feels her teeth and then she smacks him away. She don't want none unless he got buns, hun. He is balding and old, so maybe she's just not into that. But he's persistent. He really wants her to be his valentine. <clears throat> You're from Uruguay. Grandma's little polkas are mainly in the north of our country and in the south of Brazil. They are one of the tarantulas with more life expectancy. Yeah. Um, so I heard that there's like another species that looks just like Grandma's little polka. And there's like conflicting info. I don't know if you guys have heard about that. But it's very interesting stuff. Like. Apparently, in the hobby here in America, the Gramistola pulchras that we have are might not be Gramistola pulchras. Um, they might be this other Gramistola species that looks just like them. 
Um, it's kind of like the Brecky Poma Hamori and Brecky Poma Smithy thing. How's hubby doing with Pawnee? He's all right. I asked him if we could get one of those, I don't know if I'm saying it right, capybaras <laughs> someday and uh, instead of like more dogs. And he was like, no, they're a giant rodent. Of course not. And I'm like, whatever. We got time to work on them. See cyanopubescents more arboreal sometimes? Yeah, totally. They they can be housed semi-arboreally, so that's totally normal. Capybara are the largest rodent on Earth. So since you know what I'm talking about, I think I said it right then. Where are you from, Kat? Um, St. Louis. Tarantula time grossa. Oh, yeah, I have a Grimmistola grossa. But it's still a baby. <sighs> oh my gosh. She is just not about it today. Or any day, really. <clears throat> um, Grandma Sola Grossa, yeah, they are like kind of black, but they do look a little bit different. This is like Grandma Sola. Starts with a Q, I think. <laughs> Isn't Valentine's Day tomorrow? Yeah, it is tomorrow. So you would think she'd be in the mood. But maybe not. If he could just lure her out of her hide, I think it would be a lot better. But she just does not seem to want to come out. Have him take her to dinner first. I had them eat already. And so we had dinner. The only thing we skipped is a movie. But they don't really have good vision. So I don't think that should even matter. You should have done this tomorrow. She's pissed. No chocolate, no flowers. I know, but I want to have the video up for you guys tomorrow for Valentine's Day. And then Sunday I have an expo vlog that I will be filming. So that one should be up Monday. Do you have any suggestions what I should give my girlfriend for Valentine's Day? We got together on February the 18th, so that is coming up. What is she like? Because it's totally dependent on what she likes. Um, honestly, my husband and I, we don't really exchange gifts. Like, we've been together for, like, eight, eight years. <laughs> and it's just, like, you know, we, I just, I don't even, I'm not good at that stuff. And neither is he. Like, he got me, um... A little something though that I will show in the video tomorrow but like we just kind of tell each other like what we want um I would just like go simple I guess I don't know Valentine's Day is stupid if you love someone you should get them stuff when you want not just one day I agree like our favorite holiday is Halloween that's that's the one holiday that we really get into Oh my gosh, her teeth are so big. He is a brave little toaster. Or give them the skull of their enemies. Jeez. Seb, I didn't know you were so dark. <laughs> make something that makes it more special. That's true. But I do know of some girls that would be like, ah, he only made me. <laughs> we're not even going to get into that. Oops. Yeah. She will not come out. <laughs> so 
so unappreciative. I study mid medieval history. Maybe that's why we get along so well, because that sounds cool. Love Frankenstein's monster on the wall. Oh, thanks. We have Frankenstein, Boris Karloff, and Dracula, Bela Lugosi. And then on this wall, we have Dracula, the mummy, Frankenstein. And then this one's kind of unrelated, but it's Ed Wood, but it's in German. I thought that was kind of cool. She made me a plushie for Christmas, which I found very sweet. I could do something like that. That is such a good idea. Or you can make her like a pillow or something. I feel like that would be easier. You should definitely do something like that, though, because um, like for Mother's Day, um, my husband makes like cute little cards from my daughter. And that is just like way better than anything like that literally makes me way more happy than like buying me like, I don't know whatever people get each other from or get their wives from Mother's Day. Um, Count Dracula is my favorite. So is he like, he's my favorite too. My girlfriend made me a quilt for Christmas with spider patterns on the front. That is awesome. Um, like literally I would love that. That would be so cool. What do you think about each name of Penensis? Well, I can't really say the name, but I, I must say, I don't know much. Um, I'll send you some pics of Frankenstein castle later on Insta visit it last year. Yes, please. That sounds really tight. Ooh, he's moving in again. Nope. Hmm. He's still trying though. I really might just cohab them. I don't know. Oh. Pat, do you have a C elegance? I do. Um, she is still pretty small, but they are dwarfs. She's like that big. Afternoon, Jackie. Hello. Just realized I have those same spider lights. Oh, yes, I love these. They're um, from Big Lots from Halloween. She's just not feeling it today. Hey, Shanti, thanks for liking. Just a thought, aren't spiders, no spiders nocturnal? Yes, they are. Um, I was going to try pairing them again last night, but they were both still eating from that morning. Um, so I thought I would try again while my daughter's at daycare, just because I can't, I obviously can't do this when she's home. The lights might be a problem. You guys think so? Because, I mean, like, I was kind of thinking about that, too. But a lot of, like, breeders will, like, film it and use, like, studio lights and have no issues. So, I don't know. Like, it probably doesn't help, though. Poor lad has performance anxiety from all of us watching. Probably. That could very well be true. Mine is small too, but I love it. Yeah, me too. My, I, I'm, I think you're talking about the C. Elliot, great. Hmm. He's definitely in the mood. Like he's really trying. 